And welcome to Liège, Belgium, a beautiful old city set on that vast European waterway, the River Meuse. A port and bustling city of half a million people, it's one of the finest cultural and industrial centres in Europe. Being almost on the German border, the Légeois have a chequered history. Fighting always for freedom, the three graces sculpture here with its lion rampant is the town's coat of arms. Well, Liège is the gateway to the pine forests, lakes and rivers of the Ardennes. And in summer, millions of tourists pour into the city to dwell among the quaint shops and elegant buildings. The most elegant is the palace, dating back to William the Conqueror, the facade from 1737. Gloriously lavish, it's noted for its grandiose style, again symbolizing Liège's fight against oppression. And everywhere there are statues to commemorate that very fact. Another tribute to Liège's enterprise is the Albert Canal, 75 miles long, a giant artery linking Liège with the seaport of Antwerp. But tonight on dry land, here we are, the games from a vast sporting complex way above the city. It's an exciting spectacle, and here's an exciting spectacle. I've never seen anything like this before. This is the Royal Guidon Espignon Band, 50 of them on cycles. It's a bit like the Royal Signals mob on motorbikes, but just listen to the music and watch the antics. The tune there is Knees Up Mother Brown, and uh, Eddie's got a peculiar name for them, but uh, Edward, here you are. Well, uh, these are the peculiar ones. They've got all sorts of uh, bicycles, big ones, short ones, fat ones, thin ones, tall ones, motor mowers, and all that sort of thing. So in, obviously, this is the theme for tonight, all about the bicycles. Uh, in fact, the Phil Rouge is the only one that hasn't got a bicycle to it, but I'll tell you about that later. We've got slow races, we've got a fast race, we've got an Australian double take, the Imos race. Newbury have got 46 of first place, Kirkley's at 45 of first place. Watch and our team from Therakadu, these are the teams. Well, we'll see the third team shortly. In fact, right away, there they are. There's the uh, team leader, Terry. This is the Italian team. They're from Perugia, the artistic center of Umbria. The Dutch team is Hilvanenbeck. They're from the very south of Holland, and tremendously strong. We fancy them a bit tonight, along with Tharak. And last of all, listen to the mob now, rising to their feet, 15,000 people here, from the hometown of uh, Liège. Michel Le Maire on the left is the, the Belgian presenter of the program, and of course those two characters you know by now, Giordano and Guido. And uh, there are six cyclists, and they're going to be in trouble because they've got to send a mountain. And it's a mountain which unfortunately for them is covered with glue and soap. So they have a little assistance. A girl from each team, six boys from each of the countries. Switzerland missed this game. Six countries go, and we are in trap one. Here's the camera, trap one, up the hill they go, and they're assisted by the girl. Our man, Trevor Burge. And they've got to get up the mountain, it's sticky with glue. As you see, Belgian glue, and at the moment, the Belgians are in the lead on their own game. The rest of us are not quite there. Up the mountain, down the other side, we're struggling. The Frenchman appears to be. No, he's not. 
all sorts of things. <laughs> it's a real physical struggle, this. The longer you stay in one spot, the more glue you get on your feet. I can tell you that from first hand because unfortunately on the first day here I trod on it myself. I couldn't move. But anyway, they... it's a fight to the death. That's the Belgian. Would he make it? But if he doesn't make it to the top, and it's snowing as well, <laughs> you've, got, you've got you've got everything here. Now we we're trying a special technique. Oh man. Oh man, it's got a little smoke. <laughs> if he does that, it's it's furthest up the course. There's the Belgian. Would he make it? Can he do it? That's Albert. He's a bank clerk. Albert's a bank clerk. But the rest of us aren't even at first base. Not up the first part of the mountain. The glue and the soap. And it's snowing. Limit time is three minutes. It's coming up. It's coming up. But the Belgian's going to do it. You can hear the crowd going potty. The Belgian's going to do it. He's almost there. The bank clock's there. He's going to do it. That's the finish of the game. Up goes the Ida. Boom. <laughs> it's absolute. <laughs> it's absolute pandemonium there. Half a minute to go. Half a minute. You can see what it's like. It's, it's soap on top of glue. It's a lottery. Trevor Birch for Thurrock, assisted by Valerie McCormack. Ten seconds to go, and at the moment we're right back to first base. And we're going to measure how the judges are going to judge this, we don't know. But they measure the first, that's the whistle goes. Now, where were we when the whistle went? We're just going to have to wait and see. The results are coming up. The Belgians obviously have won, and now the classification on the furthest up, of course, and how do we go? The Belgium team arrived first. Afterwards, we took the positions of the front wheel. Okay, General. Then, well, there we are. He does the commentating for you. Donc, Belgique, première. Liège, première. Grande Bretagne, deuxième place. Oh, we got second place. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that one really was a stroke of luck. There are the Italians. La France, quatrième place. Agen, Argen, France, Betfussing of Germany with fifth, and uh, last of all, were the Dutch. Well, that's not a bad start for us, because to be in contention, we're really pushing now to, uh, to beat uh, Newbury. And of course, Kirkley's last week, that's the Belgian army, here in force. Well, end of round one. Phil Rouge coming up. It's a good one, Eddie. And that is all the Harry men you've seen many times on television, Belgium, with a little bouquet of roses. And of course, with a Guido Pancaldi. And the Phil Rouge is not at all about cycling, it's about collecting presents. This is the day off in the cycling annual they've got to have a day off and they've got to go collect presents and they can pick 200 presents as possible they've got 40 planks stopping them you see that in the mirror they can carry as many parcels and presents as they want but then comes a little trouble they've got to dress across that plank and i said there are 40 planks and you'll see three people pulling them out as fast as they can this is the swiss team uh marcel weber and Sylvia Conscience, in case you're interested, they go for 10 seconds without any interference. So I think she's got four there. So there should no pro be no problem for the first four. But now, the adversaries, they're pulling out the planks as fast as they can. And they, as soon as they pull them off, they're in the water. And of course, it widens the gap. And then you'll see what happens. It's a sort of curvy flying ballet. And they've got to get them in very quickly. I'm watching this carefully in rehearsal. You've got them in, get them in quickly because it's pretty hard after this. One minute, 30 seconds duration. And I suppose, uh, I don't know, that counts. They dropped off the counter. Uh, our great 
uh, Susan Algrave Little Girl, Susan Joseph, 21 seconds, uh, 21 years, secretary. She's pulling the planks. They've got to make a dash for it. Actually, the the best in rehearsal was the Derek team, the Gotham 10. 30 seconds to go. So there's, I think all the planks of the spear to have gone. There's four there, but nobody's pulling. So this is the problem now of him getting up, getting a push from his girlmate, flying across, 10 seconds. The very ways of doing it, none of them have been very successful in rehearsal, but they don't always show the tricks. In rehearsal gets a, a push. He's got to be on the platform before he can put them down and the whistle gone. So let's get the official result. How many investments? What a lot of effort is the Swiss team. We'll give it far for the course. So I don't know who you are. He's watching anyway. So 14 points for Switzerland. And we shall go fourth in the Bill Roux. Stuart. Bicycle wheels. Hundreds of them. And uh, behind Michel Lubin, you will see some young ladies there. And they have to collect wheels. Six young ladies, six blind foes. They have to make three runs, these girls, and pick up four spare wheels apiece. Our girl, there she is on the end of the picture, is little Julie Bannister. They had to negotiate the course. On the first run, pick up four spare wheels, come back and hook them over their teammate. Twelve spare wheels in the quickest possible time. So we're last away out of the traps. Into the wheels we go. Two, two in one hand, two in the other. Back down. Swiss in the lead. And they then have to put them over the teammates head, as you see. And they are not allowed to touch the floor. The Swiss miss. It's <laughs> Julian. Julie taking a tumble. That's two runs, two runs for Britain, and somebody's well lost. It's the French girl, the French girl's absolutely lost, so is the Italian, the one outside, outside the course. Meanwhile, you can see, on the left you can see total chaos because the girls have knocked the barrier down. The Swiss girls take the perler, but I think we're, I think we're on our last run now. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's lost. Julie Bannister is outside the barriers. The poor girl is absolutely lost now. They've, uh, <laughs> the Dutch girl's in the barriers. And the judges now are having to direct them right back to the start. Julie Bannister, you won't see her, but she's off the picture. Is, is, she's no idea where she is now. And the only way to get her to move in the right direction is to is to is to listen to a teammate. It's 12 wheels in the shortest possible time. Thirty seconds to go. And how are we doing? Somebody's uh, <laughs> tripped up and flaked out. People seem to have finished. We can't prejudge it for you because we can't count the number of uh, of wheels. La Grande Bretagne, one minute and fifty-seven seconds. Turok, one minute and fifty-seven seconds. Well, that's it, 157. 119. Perugia, 2 minutes. 
1 minute 41 seconds. Well, it's um, not a bad time. What about the others? 2 minutes 16. And the Swiss of Ladoville, all from 56. So the Swiss have their account tonight with six points. The French of Argen pick up five. The Belgians four. Well, it's not bad for Julie Bannister because at one stage she had no idea. I thought she was way back in Ferrari. But we're still there, we're still racing. Eddie. Well, uh, the um, German team haven't done very well so far this season. And don't forget, we've got two firsts. Newbury got 46 in the first, and Kirkley's got 45 in the first. So we're hoping that it can do something tonight. But this is Batfusing, the German team. And uh, they were saying before to uh, at rehearsal last night, actually, they thought it was time they had a win. So they want a good start on this. They're chasing just one lot of presents. So they've got a 10 seconds clear start before these three people at the bottom can start pulling out the flank. There goes the whistle. Now he's looking round. He must know the route. You see the girl pulling the flank as fast as it can. Aim for the middle to make it a long run. So, uh, uh, but Jimmel is a school boy and Susie Graham, she's a school girl. So, yeah, <laughs> youngsters. And pulling from Netherlands is uh, Petra Harpers, and I say that because she's a housewife and uh, a little older than the usual uh, just on frontier competitor. I'll be charitable, I won't say her age. Uh, and I don't know if that counts or not, I wouldn't think it would, but however, we shall soon know the full total, and they look to be doing very well with these two teenagers. And there's 30 seconds to go. Don't forget, of course, there's no joke. I keep knocking one down. I, I suppose the probably count. I mean, put them in the house. That's the idea. It's the house of coming from the shop. She's needing help now. She's got to be pushed. If he can swing her, he's going to swing her, but he's only about 10 seconds. Go on, give it a good swing. It's the last thing he'll do because the whistle will go any second. And he goes right now, despite the brave effort of Herbert Wimmer, and I don't know how many, and it would be foolish to suggest and guess. We know it's Germany, Bad Fussing. I would think it's over 14. It isn't. It's under, so they're not counting possibly the ones that were knocked on the floor. So it's 14, playing 11 at the moment. And the big fella, he's from Germany too, but he does nothing. Stuart. Well, yes, he's a big dummy. And he's supporting a platform on which you'll see uh, a couple of girls. They have to collect uh, water. It's time for refueling in the great cycle race of Liège. And they are two Dutchmen on bicycles. And they're supporting a plank between them. And shortly, on the whistle, it will be laden with buckets of water. Attention. So the buckets are off on their rather hazardous way to the big dummy. One down for the Dutch, one for the Germans, yes. Three for the Germans. That's a good run. There are two classifications here. The length of time it takes you to fill that cylinder, and already the Germans are well on the way on the first run. Or the measurement of water in the cylinder when the whistle goes at the end of 1 minute 30. Whoop. Whoops, a daisy. Round again. Now the Germans of uh, Bad Fussing. But BAD means spa, so they'll have plenty of water in Fussing. of the leaking buckets. The poor old Dutch not doing very well. El Varenbeek is in the uh, very south of uh, Holland. 
They always say the brains are in the west of Holland and the, uh, the lads who work with their hands are in the south at the moment. It, uh, they're trailing the, the Germans of Bad Fussing. They have the whistle. Gennaro and Guido. And that is our British judge, Mike Swan. So there you are, the Germans fill their cylinder in one minute, 12 seconds, and that's uh, 490 millimeters on the measurement. Now will go the Italians of Perugia against the British of Tharak. There are lads. The Italians away first. Of Perugia, the artistic capital of Umbria. Noted for their fine wines. They make beautiful wines, but there are lads struggling at the moment. Well, what are they making a run with? Two buckets. Where's Great Britain? Well, that's a, that's a horrible run. Come on, lads. Mike Leckenby and Ray Page. A couple of uh, rugby fanatics, these two are. Very strong boys, but... Uh, it negates strength that Italians have made another run. A wizard run that was with four buckets. Our two girls, Geraldine and Valerie. What have we made? A good run there. Yes. We've 30 seconds to go and we need a lot more to beat the Germans. The Italians have done it. Look at this. Empress is all around. <laughs> well, they're not playing soccer, are they? <laughs> we're still at it. We've 10 seconds to go and we're... We really are struggling on this one. We haven't got it together at all. But we're not doing too badly. We're holding our own in the competition. But there's the whistle. And you can see for yourself. We've half a cylinder. And that, yes, right page, isn't very pleased. He's not very pleased with the bike. So there's a complaint about the bike. <laughs> they complained about the bike, and now then the saddles come off the bike. That's it. Our lads are very pleased. Bon. Alors André Lange qui a pensé ces jeux, qui les a réalisés aussi. So that's André Lange, the game's designer. There's a one heck of a row going on. They're wanting a rerun because they say the bike. There's no that's saddle right. on his bike. That's right. Now it's going to be well, who can argue the longest and bon. there's no sound on the bike so they'll probably get, allow them another run. Another departure while they sort it out. Look at that big girl there. <laughs> she couldn't care less about Ferrer. She's only concerned about her bucket. She's from Switzerland. We give a new start afterwards, after afterwards a fresh start. For Holland and Great Britain because they lost the saddle. Yes. Well, there's one thing about it. Gennaro makes it absolutely crystal clear. If you lose your saddle, you have another run. So saddle up the horses, boy. Get another run. Oh. Shucks. Dug up. <laughs> How is that for vernacular English? He's a genius, isn't he, Gennaro? I know that. Because they left a bit early. Yeah. A bit early. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> but there's no doubt about it. They, when Thorat make a protest, it's certainly a violent one, isn't it? <laughs> I thought they were, were going to wreck the whole program. But anyway, back to business. It's the Swiss of La Neuveville. This is a small town, by the way, La Neuveville, 3,000 people near Neuchâtel. And they are playing uh, Liège. Oh, and Liège are off to a bad start on their own game. 
they have no buckets on the first run and they are fancy of course i mean the whole the whole of belgium revolves around cycling the most famous cyclist in the world eddie Merckx, winner of the tour of france run two times now retired but everybody bicycles the swiss on a good run they really have got it together that's the bell. There's the bell. Rocher and Lombel. There the Swiss. Oh, another good run. This is it. That's the lot. Everything. Bomb. Get the top on, Madge. You've done it. If, uh, yes, <laughs> they've overfilled it for looking run. But the judge will take the time. But that's a big girl, isn't it? That's uh, Dominique, only 16. There are the Belge, and they've finished. <laughs> Have they? Are they making another run? Yes, they need another run. It's not quite full. And they're not going to do it. It's going to be a measurement job for them. The full works for the Swiss. And then we'll go with the British. Où en est-on, Gennaro Eh bien, on en est à la, à la troisième manche, mais il va y en avoir encore une. Euh, et nous donnons le temps pour la Suisse, pour l'équipe suisse, euh, 59 secondes. Voilà, pour euh, la neuf vie, ça va être... Well, Swiss time of 112, and a lot of support for them. For a tiny town. Hop, Suisse. Il a pas réussi à remplir son verre. 897. 897 millimètres pour les Liégeois. Eight ninety seven. The measurement for the Belgians, and now we'll go the British. Well, let's see how they can do. So we're off. Try to beat. The times are we away? Yes, we are. We've done well. We've had a decent run. Four runs should do it. Four good, clean runs. Yes. Yes, indeed. Another good run. This is good for Thurrock. See, once they've got the saddles on the bikes, these boys can bomb. There are the Dutch from Varenberg. Will Britain do it? Can they do it? They've got to keep on this time. Ah, oh, they just missed it. Three buckets would have made it a full canister, but they've now got to make another run. And the pressure's on. The Dutch are going to make... They're going to fill it. The Dutch have done it. The Dutch have done it, and we're going to do it now. We, we're full. It's not a measuring job, it's a time job, but if that bucket would have stayed on the last run, I think we might even have won this particular game. But in any case, it was worth that. It was worth the violent protests and the shouting, the raving. Now then. That's it. Voilà. Now what have we got? Et croyez-moi, comme on dit, c'est mouillé ici. Nous avons pour la... Grand Bretagne, one minute dix. Sorok, one minute dix. A time of one ten. And fifty nine. Look at this. That's it is extraordinary, as as Gennaro said. Six points for Hill Van Beek. Another six points for Berruccia, and another fifty nine. <laughs> Three fifty nine. That's incredible. That really is extraordinary. Three points for Tharok. We're still racing. We're hanging on. Bad news for Bad Fusing. So in the lead at the moment, we have uh, the Swiss and the Italians and Eddie. There was the situation with Therek riding steadily in the third place. It's going to be very important is the fill route for them. And we do come to the fill route with Paula Herrmann and France. And Ra I'm, getting, I'm, rather I'm, getting, I'm rather interested in them because they're a great rugby side. In fact, they're the champions of France last year. And 
They've been telling me what they did at Twickenham and what to do here, what can they do in this uh, collecting of presents. We're going to see in one minute 30, Philippe Lacombe and the girl Veronica Zerbit, who is a student. And the 10 seconds is very important to get a lot across before they can start pulling the flank out of the track. And off he gets. And off the blank cut. Techniques are rather interesting. I watched them carefully yesterday, and they all have different techniques, but of course, invariably in all these games, they come down to a common denominator. Chasing uh, 14 for Switzerland, and 11 for Germany. And that is a typical Flemish house. So I wouldn't think it's typical, really, in the front uh, door to have a pool like this. No joker, of course, on this. He needs a push now. He needs a push start. <laughs> you see, he's got it, but he can, he's got to go back. He's going the wrong way, lad. You've got 30 seconds to get that lot over. And he's dangling. He's in trouble. He's rightly got some good knee coverage on. No doubt he's learned that in his rugby days on the hard French rugby grounds. But he's going to struggle to have to get this lot home. I don't think he's reached the target, it's no good. And he can't throw them, incidentally, so I don't know whether any of those are going to count. Anyway, it's uh, a run out of time. And we'll see what the official pronouncement is of the numbers. Guido gives it. You're up there, Guido, France. I didn't think he got as many. He got more than I thought. Actually, he got nine. So it's a, a good chance for uh, Tarek, who will go next in the field route. But before that, Stuart. Have we got a joker? Yes, we have the Belgian joker being played. And there's another one being played. And they play bar, that is uh, Holland. So the Belgians and the Dutch on the joker. It's a balancing race. And when you're put touches the deck, you're eliminated. You call it a foot. And some tango music being played. Doesn't matter how far down the course you go, as long as you don't touch. They call it, in trials riding, having a dab. That's in motorcycling terms. When you put a foot down, it's a dab. And it's difficult going uphill. Somebody is going to have a dab soon. Who is it going to be? Yes. It's it's the Italian. He's dropped it, and he's he's not pleased. There's the big Belgian. I remember a guy called uh, Sammy Miller. He was an Irishman. He used to uh, ride a motorcycle. He was absolute magic. He could balance on a motorcycle and keep it stationary for several minutes on end, not even moving, not even breathing, not even twitching a muscle. Pure genius, Sammy Miller. This is a game of delicate balance and delicate nerves. Les vélos sont des vélos à pignon fixe, je l'ai dit, je le rappelle. Et vraiment, ça se passe euh, très bien sur des They champions. Are you having bets around the far side? Mais c'est le plus lent d'entre eux Frenchman. qui emportera l'épreuve. The Frenchman looks dangerous, yes. The Frenchman. Reviens jusqu'ici. He lost his nerve. Voilà, on a éliminé de la France. So the classification, the Italians finished last, and the French next to the last, which leaves four. And the Belgian joker being played, the Dutch joker being played. Composing so. So. Who is it? The German looks a bit uncertain on this run. The German doesn't look quite certain. And that big Belgian either. He's not all that. He's not. He's well up the course. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter 
Our fight. He's, he's dabbed. He's dabbed. Yeah, he did very well, actually. Well, and these people are drawn, of course. They, they don't know what game they're going to be on until they get the draw is made the morning of the competition, as you know. Well, the big Belgian is uh, rather squandered their joker, and, uh, and a good joker is going to be important tonight. A few games of chance. And it's a good game to miss this. I'm rather glad. There are the Tharak uh, Union Jacks waving away. About 150 have made the trip. Well, there's a... The Swiss. Wow. That was a rapid exit for the Swiss guy. He looked pretty good. So there we are. The Dutch on their joker. Contest the final with the Germans of Bad Fussing. They have two lanes apiece now. They can use both lanes. The middle, the four lanes they can use. So, the German team captain. And it doesn't matter how far you go, as long as you stay on the bicycle. If you think you can't stay on, go a little bit further. And time limit is 1 minute 30. And if at that time neither contestant has dabbed, or Footsid, it's the Dutchman. So what I'm going to say to you is quite superfluous. The Germans have won. Oh, but the uh, the Dutch have picked up ten on their Joker game. Bat Fussing, uh, six points. The Dutch, Hel van Beek, on the joke, 10 points. The Swiss, uh, Landorville, 4 points. The Belgians, Liège, with their joker, 6 points. Rather thrown away. The France of Argen, 2 points. And the Italians have only 1. So, at the bottom now, in the lead, Hel van Beek, 18. Edward. Well, it is great Britain now to go, and it's a very important one for them. They're sitting... Uh, not too bad, the fifth, but uh, they've still got the joker to play, and they're in with a chance in the Phil Rouge, and taking part in the Phil Rouge, who I was still looking at this, I'll give you the names, Colin Paxman, who is a swimming pool attendant, and uh, Julie Bannister, you've seen her before, I believe, but the Netherlands team leading, but here's Colin, swimming pool attendant, canoeing, weightlifting, Essex junior champion, keeps tropical fish, and makes canoes. That's his potted biography. Julie Bannister, 18 Clark, netball, skiing and swimming. And uh, Thurrock, with uh, quite a few supporters here tonight, very lively, made the presence foul. What can like, the Great Britain do in Thurrock? Phil Ruth chasing 14 the best, 11 and the 9. That's a good start. If he doesn't drop them, he looks about 6 or 7. I've obviously thought that I've been given a lot of thought to the game with Sarek. But the big task before them, Newbury leading so far with the first 46. Out come these planks. 40 planks, 200 presents possible. But if they get um, 15, they'll do very well. Young Colin, the water doesn't worry him at all. He's got his knee bandages on and he's trotting very well at the moment. So uh, lead in the Phil Rouge and the Joker wing could alter the situation very rapidly, but the Netherlands team are in the lead with Sarek in the fifth position with a long time to go yet. All the, no, no, they're not all out on the flank. Mind you, in this last stage, it's a question of doing the flying ballet business. And then going with a push. They've done very well as Colin. There, look, one, one, two, oh, I don't know, I can't count. Anyway, there's not a lot to wait till we know officially. Oh, it's the best way, 10 seconds. He's got to make a big jump now. He's, he's doing his fine ballet stuff. He did very well. Well done, get them down. Ah, oh, dear, it's just about just missed five. Oh, dear. But that was a very good effort. I don't know how many. 
But uh, good crowd here and a good night. Great Britain, Derek, how many? When you when Gennaro? <laughs> 19, what a good one. Look good. If they got that five in, they were there touching down, it, and they'd have been home and drive. But that's a good. Good for Rouge, do it. Well, yes, his things are looking up again for Thurrock. We fancied them, and they're, uh, they're going to come good. But now three teams go in this, and of course, uh, as you know, in all cycle races, they always have a support car carrying provisions and spare wheels and spare tires and uh, forks and all the rest of it. But unfortunately, in this game, the cars have broken down. Here comes the British Joker being played. Now, this is crucial. It was a good Phil Rouge. We've had it. There's the Lady Team captain playing it. Also, the German Joker being played. So, now then, this is very important because we go in the first heat. The Swiss, the British and the French, we're in trap two in the middle. So what happens? The team captain at the wheel of his car is broken down. He has to be pushed. He has to be pushed by four guys and a girl. And there's some real weight and strength and stamina in this turret too. So you'll see the game. They have to push the car up the slope. Now watch this. They have to push like fury up the hill. Two guys first of all. And then if the car gets stuck, a whistle goes, another guy comes up to help. Then another man. And they have to get that up the top push away and they once they get over the rise it's downhill all the way the car in neutral the swiss are over first then the british in the middle it comes to rest in between two slats there of wood the bike comes off the top a man gets on the bike cycles down the course and sets the favor we're not on it get on it come on it's the joker game unleash that bicycle from the top and a fellow called bob williams there's the swiss there's the swiss he's got his favor and the French have got theirs, the British are coming up for theirs. We've got it, but we finished third. But now, the time. 40 seconds, 47 for Argonne, and we'll be in the 50s. Just 50. Well, it all depends on the next heat. The next heat, as you see, features the Germans there. In the middle, the Dutch. On the far side, the Belgians. Well, we'll keep you posted now on the time. There's a car plus the driver plus 80 kilograms of weight. The Germans off to a good start. Again for strong men, up come the supporting cast. The Dutch coming for a really fast time. Only 20 seconds. They're over. On the far side, the Belgians. Where are the Germans? But you see what? where the front wheels have got to come to rest? We are going to waste our joke at this Dutchman coming down. He reaches up and he grasps the favor. That's the end of the game. That's 35 seconds for the Dutch. That's goodbye to our joker. There's the German finishing. The Belgians have finished. Liège, 45 seconds. Carol Sank is 45. Carol Set is 40, 37. Carol Dur, 42. Well, there's a sad picture for the British Joker. They're very disappointed now. It was important. A good Phil Rouge and a good Joker is the way to win matches. The Germans on their joker. Eight points. The Belgians at the top with three points. 